This video is about normal distribution. When a frequency histogram of a continuous data is bell-shaped and a symmetric about the mean, we call it a normal distribution. The normal distribution is the most important distribution for a continuous random variable. Here are some examples like a height or weight of a large population, test scores taken by a large population. This is a typical normal distribution graph. You could see this is a bell-shaped. And this point will be mean, medium mode. This curve we call normal distribution curve. Try to remember those numbers. This is a probability. We have a mean. Sigma means a standard deviation. So your mean minus a one sigma the area will be 34.13%. This area will be 13.55%. For this area, it will be 2.15%. Then before mu minus 3 sigma, it will be 0.13%. If a continuous variable x is normally distributed with the mean, mu, and the standard deviation sigma, we write this. Pay attention to for this sigma standard deviation, we do square here. For a continuous variable, we can only talk about the probability that an event lies in an interval. And this is true. Let's talk about, again, this normal distribution curve. From mu minus a sigma and a mu plus a sigma, this is the area, all together will be 68.26%. If we add this in, then the area will be 95.44%. If we add this in, then the area will be 99.74%. If possible, try to remember these uh, numbers. Normal distribution properties. A normal distribution is bell-shaped. The highest point on the curve is at the mean of a distribution. The mean, median, and mode of the distribution are the same. The curve is symmetric with respect to its mean. The total area under the curve is equal to 1. Now let's talk about normal distribution problems. Altogether, there are three types of uh, questions. Type 1. Find the probability P given this x, mu, and a sigma. Mu means uh, mean. Sigma means uh, standard deviation. We got to use uh, this normal CDF 
then put the lower bone, and then the upper bone. Then you put the mean and a standard deviation. You will get the probability. For second type, we are looking for this、uh, small x. You are given probability, mean, and a standard deviation. Remember that you have to make sure this is a less than or equal to. Then you go to use the inverse norm probability. Mean or standard deviation to figure out this x. If we are looking for the mean or standard deviation, we got to use the z distribution or z curve. You still use the inverse norm, but for the mean, you will put the zero and a standard deviation put the one. You will figure out this z value. For the z value, you got to use this formula to figure out that、uh, mean or standard deviation.